Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create SQL Server authenticated login in SQL Server. There are two types of login in SQL Server. One is SQL Server authenticated login and other is Windows authenticated login. In this particular video, we're going to learn how to create SQL Server login. It's also known as when it's a SQL Server authenticated login, it's also known as SQL Server login. And uh, when we talk about uh, Windows authenticated login, that also uh, folks say Windows login. So we're gonna create a SQL Server authenticated login. We're gonna use two ways to do that. One is SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and then second method we're gonna do to do to accomplish this is uh, T-SQL script. So let's go and do that. Here's my SQL Server. You need to uh, use SQL Server Management Studio, connect with the SQL Server instance. In my case, T uh, Tech Brother uh, uh, client is my machine and SQL Mirror is my uh, SQL um, instance. So once you're connected with the instance, you go to the security um, tab right here. And once you expand the security tab, you need to, you will see login and you need to in order to create a new login you need to right click on the login click on new login and you will get two options right here as i said before windows authentication sql server authentication so in this particular video we're going to do sql server authentication video uh, I'm, I'm sorry sql server authentication um, login so we're going to go ahead and click that first thing that we need to do is uh, login name so I'm going to do tech brothers so this is my SQL server login this uh, when we talk about SQL server login SQL server logins do not need to be in active directory they don't have to be in the domain this is just static SQL server login once you create this login you can give this user uh, and password and they can uh, uh, to any user and they can use that uh, SQL Server user and password to connect with SQL Server. So um, the second option up here is for us to put the password. Keep in mind that you need to put a strong password uh, in SQL Server 2008, SQL Server 2005, uh, 2012 and 2014. Uh, they, uh, the internal policy is to create uh, um, a strong password which means that you need to use special characters uh, uh, numeric and uh, uppercase lowercase uh, characters so uh, we're gonna go ahead and give the password I'm gonna go ahead and type a strong password confirm the password You have an option that if you would like that particular user, if you're going to give this user uh, um, uh, user name to any user in your organization and ask them to uh, go ahead and use this uh, particular uh, login and want them to basically enforce them to change the user on their first login, what it'll do is that uh, when they will log in, it'll pop up for the new password and uh, um, uh, and they will be able to change their password right then. Um, and if that's enforced policy, if you enforce password policy, that is that um, you are going to uh, um, basically up here, right here, uh, strong password. The other is enforced password expiration. Uh, the password will expire whatever your policy is after 90 days or um, after uh, six months or after a year if you're uh, policy says that uh, SQL Server password will expire then and you need to reset the password you can click on that and user must change password at the next login that uh, that will force user to to change their password uh, this is sometimes a good option to to do that because uh, sometimes users would like to change their password but uh, when we create nowadays especially when we create a SQL Server login basically uh, DBA would like to just keep that password because uh, that's their secret password they would like to put it in um, there are application that who are not compatible with the uh, Windows authentication and they would like to have a SQL Server authenticated password to create database or connect with SQL Server in this case DBA can go and basically uh, uh, use this password uh, user and password and you don't need to have this enforced policy on so I'm going to take it off 
um, next option up here if you're uh, uh, going to give this user uh, if it's external user that's not in your uh, uh, internet uh, then you can go ahead and you're dealing with vendor and you're going to create a, a login for a vendor who can come and connect with SQL Server and you're securing your uh, connection using a certificate then you can go ahead and click on certificate certificate needs to be installed before you can use it so once you click on certificate you can choose the certificate right here and um, uh, if you have asymmetric key which which uh, is another way to secure the connection between um, you know the uh, between you and vendor or outside the network you can do that too if you would like to uh, particularly just uh, go ahead and map this particular user to a credential you can do that that if you do this the credential needs to be there in place before you can use that so uh, default database uh, my recommendation whenever you create a SQL Server login and you created the database specific to an application please use that application database the database that application is going to use use that as a default database don't use master database as a default database uh, language up here if you have other than English language you can go ahead and select your language right here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, use the master database right here but uh, again for big organization for the security purposes if your application is connected connecting to a specific database make that user um, that default database to that user uh, put that particular database so um, right here this is basically this is how you create the login and we'll get into the options of uh, uh, other other things up here but I'm going to show you that first time when you create uh, a login it the server role that any um, login gets when you create the login is public unless the public is uh, basically um, disabled uh, some organizations such as uh, uh, Bank of America or any bank basically uh, sometimes it's not a good idea to have a public uh, up here the public server role enabled because by default every login uh, basically you create it goes to public and if public is disabled you need to create another server role which is equivalent to uh, uh, public but not as uh, uh, alleviated um, in, in terms of a, a server role so if you have created that um, a server role and you would like every login to go and uh, get that just like uh, in SQL Server normally it's uh, always a public if you create if you don't select any by default is public but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose just the public and we're going to click OK and see if the login gets created as you can see the login gets created we're gonna go ahead and refresh and see right here you have an option once you create the login uh, if you forget the password and password is not configured in your any application you can go ahead right click and go to properties and change this password right here whatever you would like to do so this is one way to create login in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and we're going to go ahead and delete this particular login and we're going to use um, our um, T-SQL script to create the same thing. So I already have the script. So let's go ahead and load that script. Create SQL login. As you can see right here, I'm connecting with master create login tech brothers with the password. Password is just a generic uh, um, Microsoft password. I, I put it up here. I'm going to delete this login after that. The default database up here is master. You should change to the, as I said before, um, if there, there is a database um, that particular application is connecting to you need to put that database as a default database and the check expiration policy is off as I said that um, you know if, if you wanted to um, turn it on all you need to do is just turn it on check policy turn it on and uh, uh, it'll do exactly what we saw in graphic user interface so we're gonna go ahead and run this script and commands uh, completed successfully let's go ahead and 
look at if our tech brothers is there right here is uh, our tech brother so basically this is it this is how you um, create a sql server authenticated login in sql server using sql server management studio graphic user interface and using tsql script and i hope this helps